Ultimately, the question of whether or not you should tip your dive master comes down to the local traditions and the customs in the area in which you're in. But for me, tipping is always a nice gesture. It's a thank you for a job well done, or a you made me laugh, thanks for your service, here's a couple of beers on me. But it can also cause social anxiety. So let's talk about gratuities, and I'm going to give you my tips on tipping. Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Welcome to Divers Ready. My name's James. It is so great to see all of your smiling faces. We are back once again for another Mouthpiece Monday. If you haven't done so already, ladies and gentlemen, I, you know, there's a subscribe button down there. It means the world to us. It helps us to keep making these videos. And even better than that, it doesn't cost you anything. So if you feel like it, just give that little red button a little click and uh, it will warm the cockles of my heart. Before we get started on today's topic guys, I want to tell you that recently I was a guest on the Scuba Travel Podcast hosted by Bill Stewart. If you want to check out our conversation, we talked a whole bunch of scuba diving smack. It was a great time. I will link the episode which is now live in the description of this video below. I strongly urge you to go and check it out. Uh, Bill is a very gracious host and once again, Bill, appreciate it. Thanks for having me on. Plug over, on with the show. A couple of weeks back, we released the video 14 Divers That You Don't Want To Be On A Scuba Diving Charter Boat. I can't remember the exact title, but it was something like that. Um, it caused a lot of controversy, it got a lot of comments, and a lot of dive professionals were like, thank you for making this video, we appreciate someone saying it. But there were a lot of novice divers out there that felt that maybe I was being uh, critical or judgmental. That was not my intent at all, and I apologize if that's the way it came across. What I was trying to do was create a video that if you weren't taught these things by your instructor open water, if you didn't know, now you know. We covered a lot of scuba diving etiquette that you won't find in any training manual. But without a doubt, the point that raised the most comments was number 14 on the subject of tipping, to the point where I felt like it deserved its own video. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna answer some of the most common questions about gratuities in the dive service industry. Starting with, to tip or not to tip. I'm gonna preface all of these answers with, check what the local customs are, wherever you're diving or wherever you're going to dive. The short answer is, you can always tip if you want to tip. You don't have to tip if you don't want to. Tipping should always be at your discretion. A tip is a thank you for going above and beyond what you've already paid for. So imagine this scenario. You sign up for a two tank boat dive, you get to the boat, Nobody greets you with a smile or asks if they can help you with anything, but you get on the boat and your tanks are there, which you've paid for, and there's a bucket of weight and you can help yourself to that and you get your own gear set up and the boat takes you out to the dive site and you aren't offered any specialist information about the dive site other than the basic safety protocols. You get in the water, you do your dives, you come back to the boat, the boat brings you back to the dock, no one wishes you well or says, you know, goodbye or anything like that or any of the sort of niceties, then you got what you paid for. In that scenario, I wouldn't tip. But if you feel like the captain and crew went above and beyond their basic duties to make you smile or provide service or just give you a little extra attention, feel free to show your appreciation financially. Next question, if I don't tip, will the crew hate me? No, no, they won't. They are dive professionals. That's not how it works. Don't feel bad if you're from an area you're just not accustomed to tipping, or you forgot to tip, or you didn't have any cash on you. Although most of the industrious crews here in South Florida accept all the cash apps, Venmo, PayPal, Zelle, etc. The best dive boat crews out there are actually service industry, hospitality professionals. They're not gonna treat you poorly if you don't tip. So with that said, who should you tip? Again, check with the customs where you are, but locally here in South Florida and throughout the Caribbean, it's customary to tip the dive master and the captain of the boat. If you have a private dive guide, you should probably tip them separate from the boat crew. And if you're under instruction, if you're on a course, you should tip the instructor as well. Now, from what I've seen and experienced around the world, it's customary that the boat crews will pull the tips and share them out on a half day basis. So if you're doing a full day of diving, but you're switching crews or you're switching boats halfway through, it would be a good idea to tip out the morning crew separate from the afternoon crew. Okay, so how much should you tip? Again, 
check with the local customs wherever you are, but a good guide around the world is $5 to $10 per tank. There's a great blog article on uh, the Fly and See website, which I found while I was researching this video, and I will link in the description of this video below. And they give a good breakdown globally of tipping procedures for dive centers around the world. Again, I'll talk about here locally in South Florida, a good tip for a half day's diving is $20. For a course, you should tip your instructor. 100 billion dollars. No, about 10 or 20% of the cost of the course. And of course you can scale your tip up or down based on the level of attention that you felt that you needed. Uh, if you're a completely self-reliant diver and you set your own gear up and you don't need anything from the boat crew, but they made you smile and they, they worked hard and bought you a refreshment or whatever it may be, you know, feel free to tip according to that scale. Um, but if you were like really needy and you had to have them teach you how to use your dive computer and fix your broken dive gear and the dive master had to jump in the water because you lost a fin and it was floating away and they swam after it, you should probably scale your tip up. So yeah, I mean, tip according to the level of service that you feel you received. Liverboard tipping is a little different because on a liverboard, not only do you have a dive master and a captain, but they're also your entire hotel staff. So it's your housekeeping, your bartender, your waiter, your cooks, and so on. So normally you tip out a liverboard on a weekly basis and you should be guesstimating around 10% of the cost of your trip. So that can be hundreds of dollars. If your liverboard costs $5,000 for a week, that's $500 in tips. You're gonna to wanna to plan ahead if you uh, intend to tip in cash. To give you some idea of what tips mean to dive professionals, when I was just a job in dive instructor backpacking my way around the world, it was pretty commonplace that tips would make up about 50 to 60% of my total income. Next question, do I have to tip with money? No, not really. From a personal perspective and over the course of my career, um, I've been given a watch, I've been given a camera, I've been given alcoholic beverages, rum, mostly rum. Uh, I've been taken out for meals, I've been given t-shirts and other gifts, all as a thank you for services rendered. I will say this though, it's really hard to pay your rent in rum and t-shirts. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. It really means the world to us and it does help us to keep making these videos. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned something from it, give it the old thumbs up and let me know in the comments below, dive professionals, what was the greatest tip you ever received? And if you are not a dive professional, what is the greatest tip you ever gave? And what did the person do to deserve it? Maybe don't give us the details. Until next week, ladies and gentlemen, my name's James. This was your Mouthpiece Monday for this week. Dive safe, dive often.